All right. We looked at good examples, and now we're going to look at what to avoid or bad examples. <clears throat> Here we can see that the student changed, is, has aperture priority, but this time, look, the shutter speed exactly the same. So 1 over 10 every single time. And what does that look like? So you can see the exposures are totally off because what she's doing is not right. We need to only put the camera on shutter priority and not dial in, excuse me, aperture priority or f-stop priority. Do not dial in the shutter speed. The camera will decide that on its own. Now the next one is issue of focus. Remember to focus your image in your camera. So here, although this is a nice, correctly done exposure, the image is out of focus. Let's look at here. And this student, um, although the settings are correct, the problem is when we look through the images, they're moving their camera. We don't want to see whatever you're photographing to move around. It should move, it should stay exactly the same. Here we're looking at another example. We have the same f-stop and the same shutter speed which we saw earlier. And when we do that, we can see it's not correctly exposed. The image is not correctly exposed and there's a problem. Remember, we have the camera set for aperture priority. The shutter speed will automatically decide on its own. And we're gonna turn in five photographs at different ISOs. The photographs are gonna look exactly the same.